Up next to Alana TV, we have a student on campus with a sweet talent, Mason Turner Weather, and Josh Cummings with their local national sport updates. All that and more, Alana TV starts now. High School, I'm Dakota Marsh. And I'm Kara Valentine. Let's look at our announcements. Semester test will be held December 18th through December 21st. Here's the schedule on Tuesday. First period, 8 o'clock to 925, and second period will be 925 to 1045. On Wednesday, third period will be 8 o'clock to 920, and fourth period will be 925 to 1045. On Thursday, fifth period will be 8 o'clock to 920, and sixth will be 925 to 1045. On Friday, seventh period will be 8 o'clock to 920, and eighth will be from 925 to 1045. The cafeteria is now charging 10 cents for all water cups. They are also removing the snacks that are on the carts and selling them after the lunch rest comes through due to excessive stealing. Water cups will be available at the register. Please see Coach Kelly to pick up your letter and ticket for Oakham and football booklet. If you have not done so already, deadline for RSVPs is December 8th. If you need additional tickets, they must be purchased prior to the event. See the letter for more details. Student Council will meet in Ms. Little's room, room 102, on Monday, December 17th at 7.30. Don't forget to visit studentscholarship.org to see all scholarships available to you. Now let's send things over to Parker Stagg with a story over Lion TV. Hey guys, I'm Parker Stagg here with Joshua Kameens and Joshua Newhouse over what it's like to be in Lion TV. So Joshua, how many years have you been in TV? Um, if you include my intro year, I've been in this class for three years now. How about you, Josh? This will be my second year with a one year gap in between my intro and my actual production class. Well, what have y'all learned in Line TV? Um, I've been able to learn uh, to edit a lot better and faster and learn more skills from that and be able to maneuver and shoot with the camera a lot easier. And like, what made you want to join Line TV? Um, maybe just the uh, getting out there more and learning how to edit was one big thing. How about you, Josh? They just stuck me in a class in my sophomore year and Picked it up from there. I really liked the teacher, so I came back. And do you think y'all will use this skill after high school at all? Um, I th I'm looking forward to using this skill later in my life at some point. Absolutely not. Thank you, Parker. Now let's send it over to Kennedy Hart with a package over Ashley Coker's baking life. Ashley Coker has been baking since age eight. She's raised over $2,000 from bake sales. She continues to raise the stakes. When I was nine, my mom would bake all the time, and I thought it was so cool because she would, you know, put her hand in the oven. The oven is hot. And so it was just really cool, I thought. And so my mom got me into baking. Ashley wasn't always talented in the baking world. She had to practice icing her way to the top. Since my first batch of cookies, I've learned how to properly ice the cookies and flood the cookies with the hard icing on like Stryker cookies. I've learned how to properly do that and how to make different designs on the cookies. So yeah. My favorite thing to bake is probably cupcakes because I can do anything with cupcakes. I can take the middle out and put jello pudding or something in there and then ice it over and make it look really pretty. Not only is baking a hobby, it helps her de-stress and puts her at ease. Baking is like a peace. It gives me a peace when I bake. Ashley's baking career hasn't always been a cakewalk. She has faced many challenges that have made her the baker she is today. I'm allergic to milk, and so if I bake chocolate chip cookies, it has milk chocolate chip cookie or chocolate chips in it. So when I eat the cookie dough, I get a tummy ache. I post a lot of my baked goods on Instagram and so whenever someone needs something like a baked good for a party or something, they always come to me. If Ashley continues to never give up, her baking career will be as sweet and savory as her baked goods and she will slowly bake the world into a better place. I would love to try some of Ashley's cupcakes. Me too. Now let's give it to us Mason Turney for your local weather updates. 
Today we'll be having showers, rain at 70%, your high will be at 39 degrees, your winds are going northeast at 9 miles per hour, your humidity is at 83%, your sun rose at 7.02 a.m. Now on to tonight. Tonight we will have showers, rain at 90%, your low is at 31 degrees, winds north going northeast at 12 miles per hour, your humidity is at 83% and your sun will set at 4.54 p.m. Now on to your almanac. Your average high temperatures are 53 degrees and your low is 32 degrees. Your monthly average of precipitation is 5.04 inches and your month to date is 1.01 inches. Now on to the five cast. For Saturday we will have a rain snow mix, 35 degree high, 31 degree low, and 100% chance of rain or snow. Sunday we will have partly cloudy skies, 39 degree high, 27 degree low, and a 40% chance of rain. On Monday it will be sunny, a 44 degree high and a 21 degree low, and a 10% chance of rain. And on Tuesday we will have sunny skies, 47 degree high, 31 degree low, 10% chance of rain. And Wednesday we will have partly cloudy skies, 51 degree high, 45 degree low, and a 20% chance of rain. Well, this weekend it looks like we're going to have some colder weather, but then by the middle of next week we will have some warmer temperatures coming back into the forecast. Looking forward to that warm weather. Me too. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. On lunch for Monday we are having cheeseburgers or cheese pizza crunchers, nacho cheese Doritos, baked beans, fresh strawberries, applesauce, and milk. Remember to thank the lunch ladies for all they do for us. Now let's give it to Joshua Kameez for sports. Good morning, Swiss High School. I'm Joshua Kameens, and it's good to be back today. Without further ado, let's get into sports announcements. Looking into your local sports, the boys' basketball team beat Catholic only to advance them to the semifinals of the Cabot tournaments. The boys' next game will be at 8.30 Friday against the winner of Mountain Home and Plasky, Plasky Academy. Looking at other local sports, the wrestling team has a record of 9-0 so far. We go with Jared Raymond to see how the season is going for them so far. Uh, well, I'm junior varsity, so whatever I can to help my teammates, the varsity teammates, I just try to help them as much as I can. Push them if I see them slacking, I try to motivate them to do more. So we're just doing a lot of conditioning, running a lot of live matches, live scenarios and stuff. Let's wish both the basketball team and the wrestling team the best of their luck for upcoming matches. Looking on the national sports, LeBron James scored 20 out of his 42 points in the fourth quarter, and Josh Hart hit two clutch three-pointers in the final minutes of the Lakers' four straight victory, 121 to 113 on Wednesday night. San Francisco 49ers coach Shanahan started his first two seasons for the team a 2 to 10 record. Kyle Shanahan's coaching pitcher hasn't quite got off to the greatest start in San Francisco. He lost his first nine games with the 49ers last year before the arrival of Jimmy Garoppolo, provided a late season spark with five straight wins to a close to 6-10 campaign. And Garoppolo sidelined by a season-ending knee injury in a week three this year. The Niners have started the season 2-10 for the second straight year under Shanahan. Truck Series champion Brett Moffitt, released by the team title, needs a job for the next season to defend his NASCAR Truck Series championship. Aaron said Wednesday the team faced numerous challenges in getting to the racetrack each week in 2018. Sadly to say, this will be the end of sports for today, Cersei. But until next week, y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Thank you, Josh, for those wonderful updates. Don't forget, if you miss an episode, visit our page at CerseiLionPress.com and click on the Lion TV logo to view past episodes of Lion TV and Morning Sauce. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV and on Instagram and Facebook at Cersei Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Kira Valentine. And I'm Dakota Mars. Stay safe, Cersei. Have a great weekend. Cersei.